No one likes to talk about it, but not talking about it just makes it worse. What are we talking about? Preparing financially for the loss of a spouse or a loved one. And we're going to talk to Jim Lineweaver, who has tips to make this talk easier. Jim's a financial planner with the Lineweaver Financial Group. Thanks for joining us, Jim. My pleasure, Herman. Why is it so important for people to discuss this uncomfortable topic? Well, it's really just a very stressful time because, you know, you've been with a loved one for so long, and it's not only devastating from an emotional standpoint, but also can be from a financial standpoint if you don't do the proper planning. What's our first step? Well, first, why don't you gather all the legal documents that you have. Look for a will, look for powers of attorney, things along that nature. There was a recent study done by Harris Interactive back in 97 that said over 55% of people just die without even a simple will, making it really complicated for their family and loved ones. But with the power of attorneys, make sure you have a durable power of attorney for health care and also a power of attorney for financial purposes to mm -hmm. make sure people can handle all the financial and health care problems that an individual may face. And just make making sure that your titles to your properties are set up properly, like your maybe your car, maybe your house is joint tenants with rights of survivorship, maybe your bank account is joint or has transfer on death or payable on death. These avoid probate, make the process really simple, it can really be helpful. Very important. And don't procrastinate in doing these things, right? No. The last thing you want to do, because sometimes on these things you don't get a second chance. All right. Is life insurance on your list of uh, uh, to-dos? It is, because this can be something that will actually pass tax-free to a loved one. Make sure the policies are paid up. You know, some of these older policies that people took out a long time ago are running into some problems, so make sure you get an annual audit on your life insurance policies. Also, make sure you have the beneficiary designations properly set up. We literally had instances where nobody minded the store, somebody got remarried, and the life insurance proceeds actually went to the prior spouse, the one that was divorced over 10 years ago. Oh, so make sure you stay up on those beneficiary designations. We need to tell people where to go, in a nice way, not yes. a bad way, <laughs> where to go for help and what they'll find. Yeah, somehow what you have to do is you have to consolidate all this and do like an inventory of your assets. Like what we do for our clients is they can tap right in through our website to something we call Wealth Track Client Consolid Consolidated Reporting. And what that does is that inventories all their investments, all their assets. It ev we have a vault inside there where people can list all these legal documents, their tax return, even directives that they want. It can all be done in one place, updated 24 hours, seven days a week. So people can use something like that, any type of other electronic form, or even a hard copy can really help. Uh, keeping organized with all that and up to date is so important. I've seen the the wealth track, uh, and it's it's very helpful. Thank you for that. Uh, you've given us a lot of information today. Uh, a lot to absorb for people. Um, how can our viewers get more information? We're going to go into a lot more detail in an education program that we're having at our Wealth Watch Center in Valley View. And the first one is going to be held on February 1st at 1 p.m. And the second one will be on Thursday, February 3rd at 6 p.m. Your viewers are more than welcome to attend. Just make sure they please call first because they do fill up fast. Is there a charge for that? There's no charge at all. No charge? That's good. You can't beat that. Thanks, Jim. Very good information. Very important. And it, it is so important. I think you'll find the seminar that Jim talked about very helpful. Find a piece of paper now and write down Jim's number for more information. It's very important. It's a piece of paper you want to keep. Thanks to Jim Lineweaver for joining us today. For more information, call the Lineweaver Financial Group at 1-888-888. 313-4009 or log on to www.lineweaver.net Next, kick off your party with snacks that score!